Let's talk about women today. My favorite people in the whole world. And God Almighty, they really are. But society in America, well, it's actually, it's a snowball effect. It's going on all around the world. We're losing our women, man. Our men are already gone. Our men are already gone. And we're losing our women. So I'm going to make a special call for every every man that's there. Every nigga. Every nigga that feels like you're a man, bro. My nigga, grab your niece. Call your daughter. Call your little cousin. Any female around you that's still young and impressionable. Tell her that she's special. Tell her that she's beautiful. Tell her that she's worth it. Tell her that she doesn't need to look at anything to find inspiration. Tell her that the world is special and big. And that she's just a part of it. Tell her that it's okay to feel feminine. That it's okay to cry. That it's okay to want to nurture. That it's okay to be strong. That it's okay to be fierce. That it's okay to feel guilt. When you do things that aren't ladylike. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong. Ladies, we gotta wake up. Because we need you guys. Listen, we need you guys. I've done a lot of, I, I, I do a lot of thinking. I, I, I like to think. And I thought to myself, what would the world be if we had no no women? Imagine if at 15, everybody was a male. And the way we procreated is because at 15, when we hit puberty, imagine we bleh, sped out an egg like a Dragon Ball Z. Like dynamics. They have no females, right? You imagine how dark this world would be? This world would never be where it's at. The only beauty, the only the, we only create beauty. We only be, we only behave well. We're only gentlemen. We're only nice because women are there. So all this agenda about switching sexes and this nine binary and this non-binary stuff, this is going to destroy us. And unfortunately, the the people that are spearheading this is women. Because for some women, women for some reason, women in this generation feel like they're missing out. And being like us. And being like a nigga. And girls, you're not missing out on anything. We suffer, bro. The reason why we look so aggressive and happy all the time is because we're always fronting, man. Men live short, brutal lives. And society is very hard on us. Society is harder on us than it is on you. We get incarcerated more. We die more. We kill more. We get raped more. You don't want to be us. We're stupid. We nuked. We invented the nuke. Women are the voice of reason. And for some reason, women themselves don't want to be women. I hope this gets out to someone. I hope I'm making sense to someone. But I just spoke to my mom and I realized how important my mom is to me. That's why I made this video. So, I saw. I just wanted to express that. A real man loves women more than he loves himself. A real man, the patriarchy, the patriarchy is man sacrifices themselves for women. That's the patriarchy. And nothing's perfect. Yeah, I know that guys are stronger, so they abuse more sometimes, you know? And we're strong in a lot of ways, it's not just physical. The fact that women get upset when you call them ugly lets you know, like, we're stronger in other ways. It's, it's, it's not just physical, right? But they're stronger in other ways, and we need them. I don't know where I would have been without my mother. I appreciate you females, guys. I'm out of here. God bless. Call your mother. Just fucking do it. Call your mom. Call your grandma. Call your sisters. Call your niece. Do it. They brought us here. They birthed us.